In this video, we are going to solve question based on Francis turbine. Where will we will calculate vane angle at inlet, guide vane angle, diameters of runner, and width of runner at inlet of Francis turbine. So here is the statement: Francis turbine produces 3,160 kilowatt under head of 144 meter at an overall efficiency of 86%. It rotates 1,000 rpm, taking speed ratio as 0.9 and flow ratio as 0.3. Find diameter of runner, width of runner at inlet, guide vane angle and vane angle at inlet. Assume radial discharge and hydraulic efficiency of 90%. Now let's write down the given data provided in our question. So our given shaft power as 3,160 kW, net head capital H is given as 144 meter, overall efficiency of 86%. The speed capital N is given as 1,000 rpm. Here discharge is radial, that is angle made by absolute velocity at outlet equal to 90 degree, that is beta equal to 90 degree, as VW2 will be 0. Here speed ratio, represented as KU, is given as 0.9, and flow ratio, represented as KF, which is given as 0.3, and hydraulic efficiency, is given as 90%, that is 0.9. So in problem, first we need to find out, runner diameter at inlet which is denoted as capital D1. So to calculate this value, I will use equation for tangential velocity at inlet, that is U1, which is given by formula pi D1 n by 60, where we have speed n, and U1 we will calculate from equation of speed ratio, which is given as 0.9. So the formula is U1 divided by under root of 2gh, where h is net head, given as 144 meter. Therefore, by calculating this, we will get U1 as 47.84 meter per second. So from calculated value of U1, we will solve for D1. Therefore, we got value of D1, that is runner diameter at inlet, as 0.914 meter. Now next we need to find out width of runner at inlet, which is denoted as capital B1. To calculate this value, I will use discharge equation, that is capital Q equal to pi d1 b1 into vf1. Here unknown values are vf1 that is velocity of flow at inlet and capital Q that is discharge. To calculate discharge, we will use equation of oral efficiency that is shaft power divided by input power where shaft power is given in question and oral efficiency also given. So here input power is rho g qh. Density of water rho is 1000. A small g is 9.81 and net head capital H is given as 144 meter. So by calculating this, we will get Q equal to 2.601 meter cube per second. And Vf1 is given by formula that is Kf into under root of 2gh. And here Kf value that is flow ratio is given in question as 0.3. Therefore Vf1 we got as 15.95 meter per second. So now we have found the values of discharge capital Q and Vf1 in order to calculate B1 that is width of runner at inlet. So here we got width of runner at inlet as 0.0568 meter. Now next we need to calculate for value of guide vane angle that is alpha. Now let's look at the figure. Consider the turbine blade as shown in figure where alpha is angle made by absolute velocity of jet that is V1 at inlet. That means to find guide vane angle alpha, we take inlet velocity triangle from the given figure. So as we have studied in previous video, from inlet velocity triangle, the tan alpha is opposite side by adjacent side, where opposite side is Vf1 and adjacent side is Vw1. But here we don't know the values of Vf1 and Vw1. So here first we need to find out these values in order to calculate guide vane angle. So here we have already found value of Vf1 as 15.95 meter per second. So here unknown is Vw1. So to calculate Vw1, I will use hydraulic efficiency equation. Because hydraulic efficiency is given in the question. And we have already found value of U1 as 47.84 meter per second. And also we have the values capital H is given in the question as small g is 9.81. So by putting all these values, I will calculate Vw1 as 26.58 meter per second. Here, 
since VW1 is less than U1 or modified inlet velocity diagram will be like this. So now we have found the values of VW1 and VF1 in order to calculate angle alpha. Therefore, by taking tan inverse, we will get angle alpha as 30.97 degree. Now next we need to calculate for vane angle at inlet that is theta. So here we have all the values and by taking tan inverse, we will solve for the value of vane angle at inlet that is theta.